What's poppin'? Um, I'll tell you what's poppin'. This mystique figure. If the light would stop hitting it, this mystique figure is poppin'. I know it's reversed, but you better be able to read reverse because that's all you're gonna get because I got a shitty camera. So here's what I'm gonna do. You got a box. Homeboy. Homeboy. You gone, you knife. I'm gonna crack this fig open. Cool style. Two those, you knife. Throw it to the side. The scissor, as I always say. If I can just. There we go. There we go. This figure looks amazing. And I'm super glad I got it from the Madre. Mamacita. First new Marvel Legends, actually. Like, I've been just getting old ones the whole time. No, I'll show you guys what she looks like. Out of the box, kind of. And I'm taking her out of the box and reviewing her right now, but. It's just what she kind of looks like in package, you know, without the glare and shit. <sighs> I'm not gonna remove these two heads, though, because I don't need those. If anybody needs those, just hit me up because I do not need them. Like, for real. If you want to do customs with them or whatever, I don't care. Just hit me up. You can have them for like a dollar a piece. There. I also have a bunch of other heads I don't need, so hit me up if you want alternate heads. Oh my god. Oh my god. This bitch. Don't want to come out. Uh, uh. Okay. Before I even pose her or do anything with her, I'm gonna set her in a bowl of hot water over here. Cause the last female you know, Marvel Legend I got, when I got her, and I tried to pose her out of the box. Trying not to spill water all over my computer, but you can see Mystique chilling in that hot water. And when I got her out of the box, she broke on me. It was Spider Gwen, and yes, it was whenever it first came out. That was the first Marvel Legend I ever got. And whenever I got her, I was like so pumped because I really liked the costume, and it was just a dope figure. And when I tried to pose her, when I finally got back home, her foot broke on me, and then I got pissed. So what I did is I took the toy straight back to Walmart where I got it, got a refund, did not buy any Marvel Legends until like 2017. Yeah, from Spider Gwen, freaking Absorber Man bath days is when I technically started collecting new Marvel Legends. It's also the first day I stopped. It's because that pissed me off and it made me very hesitant on all other Marvel Legends. Remember, don't need the heads. Hit me up. <sighs> I should have been soaking for a second. I just need her feet to soak. Push off the guns. Little 
if the fucking light would stop being an asshole. Or my white ass, pale ass skin would stop ruining everything. Here's the gun barrel. barrel. Cartridge. The gun cartridge. Here's the gun. And I'll hold it like this so you can actually see it. I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for. I know I'm going to paint it up though. I might use it for Deadpool, you know, if I had cable or someone like that. I'll use it for that. But I'm thinking about Punisher since he has that big ass, like, howitzer or whatever the fuck. I'm not a gun guy. Don't shame me. I might put this on the end of it. Because it's just, to me, it looks stupid having, like, a howitzer or whatever the fuck it is without, like, an ammo drum. I said this is an ammo drum. It just looks straight up stupid to me. It's like, yeah, I'm the Punisher. Here's my empty gun. It just doesn't make any sense. Hold up. I'm not done yet. Um, here's this pistol, which comes with several people. I'm not gonna name them all off. I don't really care to do that. 